Hi, right, this is Chris, and I'm really excited to share with you my cloud hosting service of choice. Uh, I recently switched over from GoDaddy, which everybody knows is probably the worst service to use for hosting, to DigitalOcean. DigitalOcean offers 20 gigabyte SSDs starting at $5 a month, 512 megs of RAM, and they're just super fast. And they're really set fast to set up. You can use FileZilla on it to upload your files. It takes seconds to point your name servers to their droplets and it's just incredibly fast. They have a very reasonable pricing range uh, $10 a month, anywhere from $5 a month on up. And you have $5 to $80 here and if you need something larger they are there to cover you. Uh, just to give you a quick look at what you can do with this it still hasn't destroyed my droplet that I used last time, so I'll go ahead and create. Let's destroy this real quick. And it's being destroyed right now. It's going to take a minute and 50 seconds. So we'll just go ahead and create a new droplet. So I'm going to create another one. 512 megabytes. The file dollar one. We'll just go to New York. Use a, the server is in New York. We'll use a 13.04 installation of Ubuntu. And we're going to name it Demo2 and I'm going to create it. And if you saw there it said your root password will be emailed to you and I'll tell you exactly when I get that email. So you can see here it's all really setting up my droplet and I just received the email that contains my IP address and my password for my server. So that was my old one. As soon as it finishes installing, I'll go ahead and access my new server. So I have touchbyus.com, my placeholder site that I uploaded today because I took my WordPress set site down and I'm redoing it completely in Laravel 4. So as soon as that's done, I'll be doing a tutorial on how to completely set up a DigitalOcean virtual private server from start to finish. So starting installing you know the droplet to install in Apache, MySQL and PHP uh, I think it's 5.49, 5.5 maybe even it's one of the most recent versions of PHP so and installing stuff like curl and everything you need to get up and running with Laravel and it's really really easy so it has created our demo 2 so we have our virtual machine our virtual private servers ready now 20 gigabyte SSD 512 megs of RAM it's active and it's running Ubuntu 13.04 and 64 bit so let's go ahead and go into it As you see there the IP address is 208 so we'll say SSH root at I don't mind showing you this because I'm destroying it afterwards anyways 68.39 sorry 68.39.156 and it can't be established do I want to connect yes I want to connect to it and now it wants my password so I'm just going to copy and paste what I got in my email and paste it into the password portion here hit enter and there I have root access to my virtual private server and from here on I can start installing LAMP or whatever else I need on my virtual private server and it took no time to set up and right now I'll have a description in the link in the description I'll have a link that goes right into my developer account and it will give you immediate access to our account so if you, when you sign up you'll be given immediate access you can go ahead and start creating droplets setting up virtual machines setting up LAMP servers installing your web applications and it's pay as you go so you'll be charged for what you use you're not charged up front 
like a lot of uh, web hosting. So, but that's only if you click my link. So, I have a special deal with DigitalOcean for my viewers. So, go ahead and give DigitalOcean a try. I'd actually do a $10 one. I'm doing, I can create as many one of these as I want. So can you. So, for $5, and I'll create another one for $5, I'll create another one for $5. Uh, the $10 one is a good bet. If you're making a lot of site, sites, use them. You know, of course, use the more expensive ones. But go ahead and give DigitalOcean a try. It's a great service. They're really fast. If you go to the help community, they have a great community. And even here, if you can't wait for me to be done with my site to install LAMP, you can go ahead and you can go in here and you can install. It'll show you how to set up Apache virtual hosts. Here's your how to install Linux, your LAMP server stack your virtual private server and when I first started with this I was on I was using Windows 7 and I was using github for Windows it comes with a terminal shell I think it's called Windows PowerShell and I had no problem doing any of this on Windows so you just copy and paste this into your terminal press enter copy and paste this press enter copy and paste this, press enter, I mean it's just it can't get easier as long as you follow the instruction you should have no problem whatsoever getting up and running with a LAMP server so please give DigitalOcean a try please click the link in the description that'll get you the you know the quick start just you sign in sign up for it you log in you create your droplet and you can immediately begin following the tutorials to install you know your lamp stack like I said when I go to deploy my full site I will be going through a whole tutorial on how to set everything up so but if you need if you have any questions on how to set up Laravel 4 on DigitalOcean like I said I'm always available on Twitter uh, YouTube people some people know my email address uh, you can ask on our Facebook page and all of that is on our placeholder page. So, I said, click the link in the, in the description, sign up for DigitalOcean. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me.